Hey everyone, Will here from Mature Mighty Gamers, and today we just got in our copy of Borgo Brothers 2, The Casino Capers. This is my Kickstarter copy here, and we're going to be taking a look at what is in the in the box itself and, and everything for it. Um, I've taken the cellophane off just to kind of reduce noise, reduce glare there, but I also got in the mat as well. So that's pretty nice, real thick, heavy stock, uh, and, and really nice mat, to be honest with you. I like the, the style, looks a lot like a casino carpet. So pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the art on the box. This is a much bigger box than the first Burger Brothers. Um, I'm digging it. It looks a lot like the first Burger Brothers uh, and actually really cool. So this one is again, the second version of Burger Brothers. And uh, yeah, so very weird looking box as far as like the container and everything. So not really even sure how to get this thing opened. Looks like there's a sleeve at the bottom. All right, so the sleeve pops off here. So it's got like a map on the bottom for pipes. Okay, so that kind of holds everything closed because once you open this up, lots of components inside. So we got another mat. We got, we also got three mats, interesting. All right, got some tokens here. Let's take a look at one of those here. All right, double-sided, same on both sides. Punch really, really easy and well, doesn't leave any overhang on the, on the side. So this is a great job of what I'd like to see when it comes to tokens. Decent quality thickness, coloring is nice. Good good stuff there. And then take a look at some of the other tokens we got. Very cool, awesome. All right, we've got a couple stands here. This is so when you uh, prop everything up. These are the stands that, that hold the thing up, so that's pretty cool. Plastic tubes. Pretty good as far as quality. Not gonna break either, which is nice. Nice more tokens. Look more like casino chips. All right, even got a white one there. Could have put something in there. Okay. Question marks on that side, so. All right. All right, ooh, nice container to fit everything in. This is pretty slick. Okay. How does it, does it snap on? Real test. Ooh, see, not gonna fall out. That's nice. That dig that a lot. All right, so got some cards here. Take a look at those in a minute. Got lots of tokens, meeples, and things. Got the vehicle. All right. Got some dice. Decent weight. Got blue and a green. Cool. Got some cubes. Chunky little cubes there. Got red and orange. All right, so let's take a look at these cards. All right. I really enjoyed the first Portal Brothers quite a bit, enough to make me, when I saw this was coming out of Kickstarter, I was like, well, I gotta back this. Card there. All right, so let's look at. Got some lounge cards. You got pool cards, dead drops, reference cards, and ooh, these look like like playing cards. That's cool. All right, adrenaline, bingo, fat, fainting, fake mustache, grappling hook, zip line, bird tricks, foul play. Freebird, Clairvoyant, Mind Tricks, Telekinesis, MacGyver, Scaffolding, Sledgehammer, Mirage, Sliding Door, Special Offer, Loop Footage, Out of Order, Radio Interference, Earpiece, Face Mask, Impersonate, Get Cracking, Good Intel, Improvised Route, and those are the playing cards. And then we've got the player order cards, or action cards on this side. So the player characters here. Cool, awesome. All right, let's take a look at these lounge cards. Directions, happy hour, chatterbox, espresso bar, share a drink, tipsy, 
thirsty and dubious meeting. All right, let's take a look at the pool cards next. Pool, splash zone, cannonball, pool prank, trade shifts, identity theft, good for go for a swim, lifeguard tip, and no running. And then the dead drop cards here. We've got first time player. Okay, so these are different. The first time a mole chip is turned into a safe die. The first time a player peaks twice in a turn. Okay. Do variation each game. So there's, looks like there's eight of these, which is cool. All right, so next up we've got more cards here, let's take a look at these ones. It's been a while since I played Burgle Brothers. I think this is where the, yeah, this is where the, I wanna say this is where the uh, sentry moves. Could be wrong, but now like I said, it's been a minute. Okay. Quite a few of those. Distract, distracted, 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 distracted. All right, got some stickers for the meeples. Really wish these had been already applied. Got some more stickers here. Okay. We've got watch a play video. Talks about assembling. That's what it's kind of got to look up when it's set up. And then the, I didn't get the, the van, but is available. There's a heist log here. Now on this side, we've got suspicion meter. That's kind of cool. And we've got rule book. Doesn't seem too bad. And a good examples in the back there. References to actions and the cards. Cracking a save, bouncer turn, how to play win and lose. And we've got heavy cardboard room tiles here. Really good. Really good quality, actually. Those are nice. Pit boss, pit boss, count room, count room. Folders, okay. There's quite a few of these rooms, actually. Okay, quite a few of those got their own little space. Looks like there's, there's five in this spot here. Hmm. Oh, because there's only three in this pile. That one went there. All right, so we got slots, crow's nest, magic show, magic show. So quite a bit going on in this game. And uh, we got some heist rewards, open only when instructed. And the finale is only open when instructed. So that's pretty cool. Kind of keeps them. I, I like it when games have these secret envelopes for just kind of extends the game and at least for some anticipation. So really cool really cool and then everything fits pretty snugly back in the box from what i can tell here nice for here you got the mats got a little spot for the mats you got to really roll those up tightly These ones don't really snap in there too well. And I know when you when these are in, they're gonna go on here. Like so. Very cool. Is there a board underneath. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, because this is the actual top. And that actually gets flipped over, I see, I see. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Everything just kind of fits inside there though. Pretty, pretty nicely actually. So let's go ahead and set it up and let's see how everything looks. Can you take this out of here? Oh, you can, that's really nice. You're gonna have to obviously. So this goes in here. That, that. This gets flipped over. Spread out the legs a little bit. And then you can put the mat right on top. 
which gets you a little bit of three dimensional space and then you can put a mat underneath and uh, continue to go to town. Maybe, you know, you get the third mat in case there's three floors. That could be cool. So I'm kind of curious why I got the extra mat. I don't remember ordering that. So I don't know if there was something wrong with one of these or maybe there is three floors. Can't wait to dive in, take a look and see how it plays. So, all right, everyone, this has been Will from Mature Minded Gamers. Talk to you about Burgo Brothers 2 the casino capers. Be sure to check out all of our other great content on MatureMetagamers.com. So until next time, everyone, stay safe and take care.